Treyarch is finally releasing a new round base zombies map. We're going to go through eight major changes we're going to see with this new map, the new update, other Cold War updates as well. Vanguard zombies, a bunch of zombie stuff to go through here in today's video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and shout out to my partner Apex Gaming PCs. They're doing a special June promotion right now, 10% off any PC, no limit there, fully customizable, great for Call of Duty, editing, making YouTube videos, etc. Be sure to use code MATTERS for that special June promotion. Now for the stuff here, we have a lot of stuff to go through first on Vanguard Zombies the new round base map a bunch of changes that were leaked and revealed and then also what we're seeing for cold war what potential we have for future cold war updates in terms of mp and also on zombies as well but trick tweeted this out earlier today journey to the swamp of death to unearth its secrets on june 22nd here's the official logo of shino numa or you know shino numa reborn as people were calling it pretty much Shino being brought into Vanguard Zombies, although it already is in Vanguard Zombies, but they're turning it into a round base map. You guys probably know that by now. If not, we'll go through the details in this video. This is pretty cool at face value. The logo is sick. The, you know, atmosphere, the vibe of it is cool. Of course, we don't know for sure what the whole map's going to be like. Again, we'll talk about that in a second. But again, that's that logo sick. The release date as well. Very cool. We're getting that next Wednesday, June 22nd. And that should be during the day as well. I'll put the times up on screen. These times may change slightly, but most of these updates have been during the day at around 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific, etc. Those times will be up on screen. I'll be sure to update you guys in future videos if there are some changes, but pretty confident this is what we have here. And of course, that's not just the Vanguard Zombies update. That's the release of, you know, Vanguard and Warzone's Season 4 update, which is going to have a bunch of other stuff as well, which we'll talk about in future videos. But this video is mostly just about Zombies, Vanguard, and Cold War updates. Now let's go through some stuff here on what we're getting in this upcoming update and this could be for season four but also potentially later on in season four reloaded or maybe shortly after because sometimes you guys know they reveal new features especially for zombies and they say you know the new season we're gonna have all this stuff but season four releases we don't have all the features we may have to wait a week later or two weeks later that depends on what happens if the features are fully finished but it's gonna be at some point during the beginning of season four if not the launch along with the shino numa map Let's go through here from Zapped. He did a recap over on Twitter of all the major features we're getting with this upcoming update with Chino Numa, other Vanguard zombie features in general. This is coming from Reality UK. He's been very credible with his leaks and info. Of course, as with most other leaks in Call of Duty, MW2, Warzone, Vanguard leaks, you can't take this as a 100% guarantee, but most people are fairly confident this is what we're seeing with this next update. Some pretty cool stuff here, honestly. So, First up, we have Rampage Inducer, again, returning from Cold War Zombies that speeds up the rounds, and it's a super great feature. Ton of fun with Cold War Zombies, especially those beginning rounds in that mode. You know, kind of slow sometimes, so getting right into it, speeding things up, and just having a fast-paced game uh, is so, so fun, so that's going to be cool for Shinonuma and the round base map and maybe Vanguard Zombies in general. We have Zabella in Shinonuma, one of the bosses there. Most people don't like Zabella. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. We have exploding zombie rounds. Hellhounds were supposed to be added, but were scrapped for Shino Numa. Possibility of them being added with the next round base map. That's interesting. I mean, I don't mind exploding zombies. They're not too bad. Uh, Hellhounds are cool as well, but it's not too big of a deal to me. I mean, Vanguard Zombies has had so many problems. It's still not in a great state at all. I mean, it's the lowest point Zombies has been in in a very long time. So I think overall, our main concerns are definitely the map itself. Is the round base map fun and cool to play? Is it a slightly different version of Shino Numa? Is it actually exciting to play? The Wonder Weapons and the Easter Egg. That's the main stuff for most people. And obviously everything else, it's cool if they make it good, but it not, not as big of a deal again in my eyes. But let me know down below your opinions on that. Frenzied Guard is returning as an artifact. Pretty cool stuff there. Another fact is that Treyarch planned to add new artifacts to Vanguard, but due to time constraints and the round base pivot, they are forced to reuse old ones. So we did talk about leaks a while back that for Vanguard Zombies, Treyarch would bring back most of the original field upgrades from Cold War Zombies, bring them as artifacts, but they would also add a couple of new artifacts as well with new abilities. But I guess none of those are coming because, again, they have to focus on making these round base maps now. These different wonder weapons, these Easter eggs, probably better main quest Easter eggs. I think that's a good decision on their part, obviously. People definitely want that round base content. And they would probably sacrifice, you know, not seeing new artifacts in place of some round base maps, some new Easter eggs, etc. So I think that's a good trade off there. But it does suck to not see any, you know, new artifacts. It would switch things up a little bit, but 
Again, we have bigger, more important things to worry about with Vanguard Zombies, and I think they made the right decision there. So we'll see what happens with that. Some more stuff here. New Pack Punch camos. That's a good thing again. Obviously, we'll see how they actually look. Pack Punch camos recently have really not been the best. It was cool when I played at Terra Maldito the first time and seeing Pack Punch camos finally in Vanguard Zombies. Like, it was definitely something. It was an improvement from having no Pack Punch camos in the mode. But looking back at, you know, games like Cold War Zombies or even BO3, it just pales in comparison. I mean, the, the camos are just not as good as back then. They're not as bright vibrant animated and maybe they'll just go off and make some crazy camos but you know how it is chances are it's probably not going to be as cool looking as you know cold war or these previous zombie modes but as long as it's decent better than what we have right now a bit more colorful and vibrant that would be a good step in the right direction some more stuff here changes to the point system i'll let you speculate that's very interesting we'll see how that works and fire sale is back also pretty cool there wonder weapon again i'll let you speculate on what it is is it the wonder off or is it something new i probably won't leak that either someone else does or you have to wait until trick announces it which is actually pretty soon also another fun fact so uh, I, again you know he's trying to you know tease what's going on here definitely some fairly decent changes here and reality also went through some other info as well a bit more in depth so in shino Numa reborn you'll also be able to exfil now again very similar to cold war zombies pretty cool stuff there uh you'll have the rampage inducer we talked about that uh fire sale again we're getting that uh we have pack punch tier one price going down to five thousand which is actually pretty cool because 7,500 for tier one pack punch was kind of annoying, honestly, and I can never get the hang of that. And I didn't play Vanguard Zombies enough to get used to that. So that's cool going back down to 5,000. And that's pretty much all we have right now for Vanguard Zombies new updates. Uh, again, very soon we should get some type of, you know, roadmap, maybe some gameplay trailer where they show a small section of Vanguard Zombies, the new features, the map itself. But I'm still personally wondering is, you know, is this Shino Numa round base map going to be drastically different from shino numa from world at war you know bl1 zombies chronicles will it just be the exact same layout will they expand upon it will it be a situation like in black ops 4 where it's mob of the dead expanded new rooms into blood of the dead or alpha omega where you go below the map into the bunker or you know tagged or toten with call of the dead they have a whole new area on the side of the mountain or the hill like all that stuff was pretty cool but at the same time it was kind of poorly received because it was just, you know, remaking the maps and some people considered the maps to be, you know, worse versions of the original versions of those maps, which I think might be a bit different this time around because considering where we're at with Vanguard Zombies, where the mode again is just not what we want for zombies, I think anything is better than just what we have right now better than Duran Fong, better than Terra Maldicta. So whatever we get with Shino Numa, even if it isn't that different from the original Shino Numa map, it still is something cool and something better than the objective based zombie modes we have right now in Vanguard, which I'm not entirely opposed to. Like Vanguard zombies isn't the worst thing ever. It's just that it launched just with Duran Fong. There wasn't a lot of content. There was no round base to satisfy those fans as well. And it was just too bare. I think, again, I said this before, if Vanguard Zombies launched with a round-based map and maybe some other stuff as well, along with Darn Fong, it would have been still poorly received, but a bit better received than what it actually, you know, was and what it experienced. So, again, that's a whole other discussion. We talked about that before. But I think right now, you have to go into this next update and just enjoy it for what it is. Again, Shino Numa, if we have a solid Easter egg, a decent wonder weapon, the map is changed a bit. Maybe there's an extra section. Um, maybe you go underground, like I said. Who knows? We'll see what ends up happening. I'm, you know, decently hopeful. But again, I'm not going to be, you know, too confident here that this is going to be the best update ever. But again, we'll see what happens. We should get more information and gameplay especially revealed very soon. And I'll be sure to, you know, cover that on a stream or in a video. And we'll see what happens with all of that. But some more stuff here now. What are we getting for, you know, Cold War? Because Cold War is still being updated. And obviously we had theories that Treyarch would actually stop developing Vanguard Zombies and focus more on Cold War Year 2 DLC. Of course, with this update now and, you know, rumors that we're going to get another round-based, like, Dark Aether Vanguard Zombies map, it seems like Treyarch, they're pretty much definitely done with Cold War. Although we may still get some updates. We are getting updates. Uh, you know, Zapped says this. It's not looking likely that Cold War will be getting any more MP maps. Maybe one or two more, but I haven't seen any evidence to show this. So we had rumors and leakers telling us that we would still get extra Cold War MP maps, Firing Range and Summit and all these other maps, and we still could get them, but there just isn't much evidence anymore that that's going to happen. And especially for zombies now, I mean, our last major Cold War Year 2 update 
was, I guess, a zombies update. The Onslaught Mystery Munitions LTM, now live, all platforms for Cold War Zombies. I mean, that was pretty cool, obviously. But, you know, we really haven't seen much of that at all. We still don't have those new Cold War Year 2 MP maps, WMD and Jungle, brought into Onslaught Zombies, which I think would be pretty fun. It's not, you know, major Zombies content, but it's something to play and we still don't have that, so maybe they're saving that for later on down the line. Maybe we'll still get that. If we don't ever get those maps, that would be kind of unfortunate. Not a big deal, I guess, but I feel like it's just easy content for them to add to the game. As for future Onslaught maps, maybe we get other stuff added as well. Uh, but other than that, I, I don't know what else they could do. I mean, they already said no more round-based maps. Outbreak, we've had leaks and theories about extra Outbreak maps. But again, with Treyarch's focus on, you know, Vanguard Zombies and now on their next game and their potential free-to-play title in 2023, it just doesn't make sense for them. So... Uh, again, right now, I think Cold War still has a couple extra updates. I think it's possible that we do get some type of meaningful zombies content in the form of a new LTM again, or a new mode, or maybe they bring back, you know, Jingle Hells or something, just something funny like that for round based maps. But as for, you know, any actual maps in general, it's, it's just less and less likely that we get any of that, which does suck, but... Again, we'll see what happens very soon. Hopefully, the Vanguard Zombies update is enough for players to at least be a bit more interested in the game again than they are right now. I don't know how many people are playing Vanguard Zombies. I'm definitely not. I mean, I think it's pretty much universally accepted that people would rather have seen, you know, extra Cold War Year 2 Zombies maps and stuff like that instead of Vanguard Zombies content. But this is what we're getting. So we might as well enjoy it, see what happens. And, you know, if it's good, it's good. If it's not good, whatever. We just got to move on and wait till we get some Treyarch content. So that's it for this video. Let me know your opinions on the upcoming zombies updates down below what do you want to see what else do you want for vanguard zombies you know maybe the dark ether round base map will be really sick as well that's going to be a potentially wholly unique location that's kind of cool so we'll see what happens but hopefully shina numa is a good map and an overall decent update for us to play but that's it for this video subscribe for more you know cold war vanguard mw2 warzone 2 updates news videos stuff like that there are two other videos up on screen that may interest you so be sure to check one of them out Real do appreciate it, guys. Chat to the YouTube channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.